is called, you gotta live right up to your back. I know that sounds obvious. Well, my father taught me many things. He showed me living cities under rocks and twigs. He showed me blind catfish deep in caves and old Indian graves. He taught me how to find crystals and baby raccoons. He showed me a billion stars and rabbit moons. We had a thousand nights around a thousand smoky fires. Now we walked in deserts. We found ancient things in taglios and dancing rings. He showed me how to find gold. He showed me fossil trees and ancient seas and half the world's mysteries vanished right before my eyes. I remember one time, deep in the caves of man in some godforsaken land, out of food, nothing to make a fire. But we got out alive and well after walking straight through hell. That old party never even tired. You know, I still have dreams when I sleep of arrowheads knee deep in the creek and dusty tombs, ancient painted walls, of petroglyphs and pottery, and what those symbols really mean. After watching empire after empire take a fall. My dad used to say, he said, Life is sweet and death is cheap. Just throw me on the garbage heap. No need to cry. Don't shed a tear. He said, kid, how many bones have we seen in the sand? In some godforsaken land. He said, easiest thing you'll ever do in life is die. And he lived right up till he died. He is still very much a part of me. And I know in that way, he didn't really die. And I still see his smirk and smile on the face of my grandchild. And I know she's going to live right up till she dies. Something like that. Yeah! I got a grandson, and when he was about five or six, his mother came to me, and she said, oh, this kid, he's out of control. He's going to need drugs. He's going to need counseling. Nobody behaves this way. And I told her, I said, well, you know, he is a boy. And she said, no, no, this is terrible. He's just doing horrible things. And I said, well, let me guess. Uh, probably got in a fight, might have stole something, probably set something on fire, might have peed on something. Oh, yeah, all of the above. Yeah. So I wrote a song about it. It's called Just, He's Just a Boy. Well, he's just a boy. What can I say? They don't fit well. In the world today, he'll pull your hair and break your toys. He's gonna make a mess. He'll make some noise. No Adderall, no ADD. He doesn't need psychiatry. You know, it's genetic. And X and Y, one goofy gene. What do you get? A B O Y. Because boys were designed for a different time. They were meant to run, to hunt and climb. They were meant to fight and never cry. He's just got a bad case of B.O.Y. Yeah, boys are gross. Sometimes they're mean. They lack the skills of good hygiene. He'll pull the wings right off a fly. Hunt 
can climb, never meant to fight, and never cry. Oh, he's got a bad case of B O Y L. He'll pee on things, take things apart. He'll talk of love and break your heart. He'll chase the girls all over town. He'll get a boner that he can't slam down. Cause boys were designed, you know, for a different time. They were meant to run, to hunt and climb. They were meant to fight and never cry. He's got a bad case of B-O-Y. Yeah! <laughs>